Talk about our future Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh and the vote to get him into the Supreme Court being delayed by one more week. We're going to have yet another FBI investigation. It will be the seventh FBI investigation into his background due to, quote unquote, credible information that was brought about by Christine Blasey Ford as it relates to a sexual assault that allegedly happened to her at the hands of Brett Kavanaugh back in 1982 1983 i don't really know when it was she doesn't really know either but i digress the person who was really responsible for the delay happening is jeff flake aka jeff snowflake the senator from arizona he was confronted by two women and they allegedly convinced him to change his mind. Now, I always knew that Jeff Snowflake was kind of soft and he would be looking for a reason to not vote for Brett Kavanaugh or he'd be looking for a reason to delay the process because Democrats have always wanted to delay this whole thing for as long as they could, if not abort the entire vote all together and get who they want in there. Maybe they want to bring up Merrick Garland from the grave and put him back in. Not literally, but you understand what I mean. Now, in the confrontation between Jeff Snowflake and these two ladies in the elevator, it seemed like it was staged, right? Because first he was like, okay, I'm going to vote for Brett Kavanaugh. We're going to get him in there. And then after this brief confrontation, he goes back and says, well, I need one more week for the FBI to investigate. And then I make my mind up. He's holding his vote hostage which is not really a surprise knowing how Jeff Snowflake is. Now, I do have video of it. I won't play the entire thing here. It's not really needed, but I'll play a brief clip from Anna Maria Archilla. And after we get done with that brief clip, I'll come back and explain a little bit more about her and wrap it on up with a nice bow on top. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll it. Okay, so you saw that. You see what's going on. Now, I think that these people were placed in the elevator with him on purpose. Why else would you have Anna Maria Archilla? Let's take a look at her uh, resume here. Okay, she's on Twitter. And her bio says she's a co-ed at Center for Pop Demock and CPD Action. All right, now, Pop Demock, what's that? That is Popular Democracy. This is a Twitter page with 13,400 followers and the bio says building the strength and capacity of democratic organizations to envision and advance a pro-worker pro-immigrant racial justice agenda there's a website and everything populardemocracy.org and she also has cpd action this page has only about 6,000 followers but the bio says we're building a movement of people fighting for opportunity, equality and inclusion action arm of Pop Democ. So these are the, the foot soldiers, if you will. So how did this person with those kind of credentials just happen to wind up in the elevator at the same time with just Snowflake to confront him? And how did it happen to go viral? I mean, you tell me, I think the whole thing was set up because the woman, Anna Maria Archilla, has spoken to Jeff Snowflake one week prior to this confrontation about her own personal sexual assault. So how is it you speak to the man one week prior about your own situation and you just happen to wind up in the elevator with him right on the day when it's time to vote to get it sent to the floor and then you got to vote again to get him confirmed? Is it a coincidence or was it set up like that to make him have an excuse to delay the process because that's what this whole thing has been about. That's what the entire uh, sham of a proceeding has been about from the Brett Kavanaugh. They don't want, when I say they, I mean the left and some of the right that are on the left, like Jeff Snowflake, they don't want him to get into office right now. They want to delay it as much as they can because the meeting was supposed to happen with uh, Brett Kavanaugh and Christine Blasey Four on Monday of this week. Then it got pushed to Thursday. Okay, then you had a vote on Friday to, you know, get it sent to the floor. Now that's being delayed. Okay, like th this whole thing is a delay, 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 delay. 
Now, we're going to see if they stick to this whole one week thing. I doubt they will because they're going to say well, it's not enough time. The lawyers for Christine Blasey Four are also saying that it shouldn't be a time limit on it. You should be able to exhaust all your resources. That And the third, they don't want there to be an actual time limit. So if the FBI comes back and they say, OK, this is background check. Number seven, we did not find anything the same as the first six times. The left is going to say, well, you didn't have enough time. You were rushed. This was a political move. You're still rushing it through. We need to delay it until after the new year or something crazy like that. That's what they're going to say. But at the end of the day, I believe that Brett Kavanaugh will be confirmed as the next Supreme Court justice. And he's going to be a great Supreme Court justice. He has had so much support from women in his life that it really boggles my mind to see all these people coming against him. Like, there's always people coming out, former college roommates, random people talking about, well, he was lying. He was a heavy drinker. They're trying to characterize him as somebody that is irresponsible, can't handle his liquor. Like, Ted Kennedy, maybe. I, I'm not sure they're talking about him. Or maybe like Keith Ellison, beating his wife, beating his girlfriend. No, they're not talking about that either. Uh, uh, hey, whatever. They're trying to discredit the man so they can push for their own political narratives. It's really a shame because you're ruining this man's family. You're ruining this man's life and his good name that he spent many years building up. But hey... I guess political expedience, I guess uh, crushing your opponents is much more important than any kind of ethics. And it's much more important than an innocent man's life. So what do you think? Do you think that the week long, I don't know, pause, delay for another FBI investigation is a good thing? Should we have agreed to it? When I say we, I mean those of us on the right. Should we have said, OK, go ahead and do it? Was it a compromise? Was it a cave? Should we have just said no delay? Let's vote right now. Do you think that it'll even be enough after the week is over? Like, let's see this time next week. Are there going to be any complaints from the left? Do you think that Jeff Snowflake and anyone else that is on the right that may kind of be on the fence? Do you think they'll vote for Brett Kavanaugh? I believe that they will. Uh, maybe not Jeff Snowflake, because I think he's going to be out of politics anyway. I think he's like done with the whole thing or he'll go to the other side because I thought I heard him say that he was finished. He's going, he's going to retire, but maybe he'll just be done as a Republican and go over to being quote unquote independent or go over to the left. I can't call it, but whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below.